Hi everyone, in this video, we're going to look at a very simple but incredibly powerful daily tracking practice. You can do elaborate tracking and we've looked at more comprehensive forms of tracking previously in this video series on this channel. However, you don't have to do elaborate tracking. I'm going to show you today a very simple type of tracking you can do all by itself with no other tracking that will provide huge dividends and big returns if you implement it into your daily practice. You could combine it with a more elaborate tracking process or you could do just this by itself. I think this is the 80-20. This is the one thing you could do to track that will give you the biggest return if you're not gonna do all the other stuff. On this channel, we explore creating systems in our lives to perform better and achieve what matters most to each of us. And learning from our daily activities is one of the most powerful ways you can do that. It's a small but effective system to put into your larger system to extract, learn, and figure out ways to do better incrementally each day. You always know, talk about that 1% improvement every day. This is how you do it. You observe, you extract the insight, and then you apply it, and you iterate day after day after day. Very small increments have massive compounding effects over time, so that's how this pays off big if you make it a regular practice. Now, the biggest hesitation I often hear from those who are interested in the Pillars, Pipelines, and Vaults PPV system or any comprehensive life operating system the biggest hesitation is often this tracking component. And we've talked in previous videos about how we will track certain things that are very important for us to help our performance, things like sleep, exercise, nutrition. It could be aspects of work, for example, sales calls or content creation, tracking or posting consistency. These are things we can track to improve our daily performance and just get better and better at very specific things. But if we're going to do one overall thing, and just keep it extremely simple, this is what I recommend as the simplest, most powerful tracking element. All you do is at the end of each day, rate your day one through 10. Five being normal average. Anything above five is better than average, and below five, things didn't quite go as you had hoped or as you would like things to go. That's it with one small addition. For anything above five or below five, add a note. Why was it better than average? What made it better than average? What did you do? What went well if it was better than average? If it was below average, a one through four, what went wrong? What could you have done better? What was the problem? You don't need to write elaborate paragraphs. Keep it simple, keep it short, but really observe what went well or what went badly if you were above or below average and document this. If you're using the PPV, Pillars, Pipelines, and Vault system, we've talked about in this series, you have places to put daily tracking. Your daily tracking could be nothing but this one number and the note as to why it was above or below average. If you're not using PPV or using any other system, put it in whatever platform you use. It can be a digital platform. It could be a notebook with pen and paper. It could be a little sticky pad that you then stick into a series inside a folder. Just find a way to document this and track it over time. But one way or the other, observe at the end of each day what went well, what didn't go well, and why. The reason this is effective is it's going to do three things. Number one, it's going to bring clarity on the day. It's going to give you awareness. This reflection will give you understanding. So often we're just rushing through things one after another. It's all just a big blur. You can't even remember what you did earlier in the morning. Stopping and reflecting and having awareness of whether the day's progressing well, whether your day was effective or not, is going to open your eyes to what's working and what's not. It's going to reveal things that you wouldn't observe if you didn't take a moment, have this practice of stopping and observing and recognizing whether things are working or not on a day-by-day -day basis. So number one, simply the clarity this will bring to you will be transformative and set you up for number two, which is a daily lesson. You will take one or more lessons from most of your days if you do this. You're gonna have takeaways. That's what the bullet points are for. You're going to take an inventory on what's working and what's not working. Just like observing what's working and what's not working will bring you even greater insight and understanding as to which activities and practices you're doing during the day are effective and which aren't. What needs to be tweaked? If you don't stop and ask yourself what's working and what's not, you're not gonna learn, you're not gonna improve, and you're not gonna have new ideas and insights to apply the next day and then the next day and then the next day. Cumulatively, these add up. Each is quite small, but in aggregate, day after day after day, these little tweaks are massive transformations to your life. And then number three, you're going to have weekly, monthly, and annual reflections. By having these observations 
and documenting them somewhere, whether it's paper and pencil or any digital platform, you're going to have a record of what was working and what wasn't working over and over and over, day after day after day. That's going to be a treasure trove of insight to look for patterns. It's the patterns in our lives that make all the difference because of their relentlessness, their time after time after time. They have compounding effects. They are feedback loops, whether they're positive feedback loops or negative. It's that relentless drive, that consistency over and over and over again that makes them have huge impacts far beyond what it looks like in the moment. So reflecting on these and looking for the patterns. Now, obviously, if you're using a digital platform, particularly a modern one like Notion in a system like PPV, it will aggregate and reveal these patterns for you. It's built into how the system works. But even if you're not, even if you're keeping it really simple, just flip through the pages, scroll through the past documentation and look for those patterns. They will jump out at you. You're going to see the same things over and over again. This repetition will happen even if you're not aware of it in the moment, or even if you're missing it day by day. When you look at it over a larger horizon, a broader time span, you're going to see patterns that you didn't see when you were deeper into the forest looking at just the next step day after day. So the bigger reflection. So all those three things will add up to having a massive compounding effect if you put this into practice. This changed my life. When I started doing this, I learned so much about myself that I didn't know. I understood, this reveals psychology. This reveals your deepest impulses because day by day, we're drawn to things without even thinking about them. Taking time at the end of the day to reflect and rank and note why above or why below is gonna reveal these subconscious impulses that drive us in the micro so that we can adjust and improve the course of action in the macro throughout our lives and we can get to those goals that we're setting for ourselves because we're not getting pulled off course by little things that we're not even noticing. So I hope that's helpful. In future videos, we're gonna to continue to explore performance enhancing modifications to our daily practices and behaviors just like this one. So if that's of interest, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get updates on future videos. And please hit like if you found this video valuable. Leave thoughts or questions below or join us in the Notion Life Design course to explore these topics in greater detail. That's at notionlifedesign.com. I also write the Life Design newsletter on increasing human capability. I give away several of my best Notion templates to anyone who subscribes to the newsletter. The link for that is also below in the description. Thanks for watching, lots more to come.